see in just a second. As we get into game number one, I didn't quite get to see what stage they're going to, but if I had to take a guess, it's probably PS2. I mean, that is the classic yes, SoCal sir. starter stage. The, it, it, you can't even claim that one for there's SoCal. That's the classic starter stage for literally everyone. All right, looks like just a butter check it, especially when you're playing such technical characters like these, you know. Dom, you really need to know your angles with whip, you know. You need to know exactly how you're feeling, and Rob, no, you think like, oh yeah, Rob gets a grab and he just goes down throw up there. But there's a lot of like intricate things that he can do off of B reverse, off of gyro, off of you know the angles of the neutral B. That like you do need some technicality with Rob in order to push him as far as Big Box is going to take him. Yeah, but it's it's going to be interesting to see. We we see Dom taking game. No, no I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that was a button check. We are going to be resetting. Both players give the thumbs up. They're ready to go. Just got to pick the music. All right. All right, of all right, course. acceptable. Of I was about course. to say, you're going to go Route 22? Hey, Route 22 is hype. Route 22 not, is hype. Not for a fighting game. Route 22 that's, is hype. That's like, oh, hey, we're having a nice, friendly stroll down the park. This is at least a little bit better. You would say so, but PS2 makes the best games, and we'll see if this is one of them. MK Big Boss versus TE3 Dom. Already off the bat, getting that Holy Fire fair. 44%. Here we go, trying to catch the jump from ledge with the axe, not going to find it. Gets the cross, oh my god, doesn't go for the down air. I have a feeling we're going to see that a lot. Right. And by that, I mean, uh, excuse me, Big Boss jumping from ledge, trying to use gyro, trying to use laser to get a hit on Dom to try and make his way back on. But so far, absolutely flawless in terms of the ledge trapping, goes for the up B out of the right. pop-up. Not able to find it yet. All right, gets the turnaround, gyro throw, gets the... Nairo, oh my god, almost gets the, the gyro kill. Right there, no, not but. nearly close enough to the ledge, just settling for the damage instead. So good way for Big Boss, though, to make up the distance between the two of them. Dom has gyro, though. Right. That's a scary prospect. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Yeah. It's like you always have to keep it in mind in the matchup. You know, whose position is it in at the moment? Getting the up air, but I don't know if that was beautiful SDI or just multi-hits not working in Smash Ultimate Part 2 million, because Dom just fell out of it there. All right. Here we go, hops over the gyro, gets the bear, and that will be the stock. Here we go. Tries to go for the long Holy Cross throw, but Big Boss not biting, lands yet again, tries for the down tilt on shield, and actually kind of getting beat up in neutral right now. Right. You know, the one thing that Richter does have in most matchups is that range of the whip, you know? Can he keep Big Boss away long enough to you know, build a percent lead, build enough damage that he can get one straight hit to kill? Speaking of building, Steve's the character a lot of people talk about when the topic of building a wall to keep a person or a character boxed out. But Richter, really, really good at just putting up a wall of projectiles so that it's almost impossible, if not actually impossible, to approach. But Big Boss finally gets his inroads, gets that up air, and takes the first stop. You know, every game plan has an opportunity of punish, and you know, Big Boss found his. Hopping over, though. Shields everything, just keeping that shield up, but can't get past the axe, gets caught by that, and. A, he a healthy percent lead built up by T3 Dom. Oh my god. Oh wow. The Unfortunately, the fire hitting Dom right there. But, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, when it hits that platform, you know, sometimes a lot of players like to go for jumps out of shield. And if that were to hit him, no, Dom is not one to miss a punish off of that. Down throw up tilt up air. Good air dodge from Dom to get out of it. Punishing it with an uppy for a little bit of extra percent. And the holy, th uh, holy fire F smash takes out the stock there. A little bit earlier than I'd expect from Rob, but good, good kill from Dom. I mean, yeah, that move is one of those things where, like, if you are not familiar with how to fight Richter, if you ever, ever get hit in Holy Fire, DI up and away. That is the correct DI, and at least if you do it hard enough, you won't get hit by a smash. Yeah, you'll, you'll take a little bit of extra damage from the Holy Fire, but right. you'll be able to escape, hopefully, with your life intact. But catching the down tilt, sending him way off stage, is a little bit too far away for the tether to work. So yet again, it's almost the exact same thing we saw on stock one, where Big Boss is able to keep it relatively close, at least in terms of the stock count. And we know, you know Dom wanted the up smash just because, you know, it's the classic, like, I'm going to kill you off of the setup, right? But unfortunately, Big Boss being a little bit too far away to get that to connect. And now he's just in the edge guarding phase, where it's just like, oh, I hit you once off stage. Now I'm going to do it 10 more times until eventually you die. It really is just an entire phase for Dom, just having these edge guards, these ledge traps for so damn long. 
you know, keeping you in disadvantage is one of Dom's like biggest strengths. That was an interesting idea from Dom there. He went for short hop dare, didn't connect with it. Not really going to matter though because that up angled bear is going to connect. Takes down the, the final stock in game number one. And Dom looking to defend SoCal from the invaders yet again. He did so very successfully at MSM 240, the last chance qualifier for Summit. Looking to do it here again for 241. Right. And I love how Dom always changes up how he goes for the ledge trap because he doesn't he never does the same thing twice, right? Absolutely. Like the first time we saw, oh, fire into cross. No. Then we saw fire into uh axe or fire into you no know, bear, right? In that case, like he says, okay, he likes to jump a lot, right? And cross is gonna be a little bit too slow to catch that, so I'm gonna go for the turnaround up angle bear, and that caught him, and you know what? He dealt up enough damage for it to kill. Absolutely, and now going to be going into game number two, a little bit of a counter pick coming out for Big Boss. He's gonna take Dom to Smashville. I wonder if he knows this is one of Richter's better stages. Right. I mean, it's just gonna be interesting to see just because the platforms do allow Rob to kind of, you know, pick and choose how he's gonna juggle him. But, you no, know, Dom being able to throw up a fire and, you no, know, be at jump height at any moment when he wants is going to be really, really good for him as well. Yeah, this stage is incredible for Richter, specifically just because there's a lot of stuff that he can do with that top platform covering him. But I think I understand exactly what Big Boss is going for here, and it's almost that, getting those edge guards because of the small stage. There's not a lot that T3 Dom can do to keep him away from ledge while he recovers. And you know what, this is what I was talking about. Now, Rob cannot just get a free Nair on your shield. You will get upbeat for that. Tries to land, gets the upbeat, looks for the down smash, but Big Boss unable to capitalize, unable to connect, no punish out of the whiffed upbeat. Here we go. No, with gyro in hand, um, where did the gyro go? Like it hit him and it, uh, he, I thought he caught when, it, but... When he parries it, it disappears. Mm. Oh, oh, gets in there. Oh my god, you know he didn't want the spike hitbox in there. He wanted the dare yeah, he, wanted, he wanted the pop up into the up. He goes for like a little bit of a consolation prize at the fair almost. Right. But that's that's a pretty big consolation prize right there. Gets the uh, the F tilt to take out the stock. Right. You know, it's one of those things where like you never want to pick normal get up against Belmont, but sometimes you know jump is just as bad if you do it too early. Yeah, it's it's very, very, very tough to be put in that situation. Dom certainly, or uh, Big Boss, excuse me, certainly not one of the first people to fall to that. Goes for up tilt, up air, and this time, Dom unable to air dodge through it, but still surviving, barely getting that whip tether to get back up onto the stage. Right, and Look the cross, coverage. yep. Dom loves to do that, using the cross, knowing that the comeback hit will protect him on the way back to ledge. Parry from Big Boss, though, to try to approach, but Dom still holding up this wall, keeping him out. Gets caught by the up air, but good DI is going to result in him still surviving. Now off stage, Big Boss has to recover back on. Parries the Nair, and Big Boss just having a really hard time finding an approach. Right. I know, that is, is Richter's you know, weight coming into play. You know, he's just as heavy as Samus, right? So he's a very, very heavy character, and you know, Look at this! Yeah, Big Boss is just struggling to find his kill. What a good recovery mix up from T3 Dom to get around Rob at the ledge. Gets his feet back on the ground, right back up to his old tricks, throwing the axe out, trying to catch Big Boss. That could have been it if Dom was ready for it. Right. You know, I feel like Dom is just content with throwing out hitboxes, not really caring if they'll set up into a kill, but just satisfied with the damage. Speaking of satisfied with the damage, goes for that chase with the back air, keeps Big Boss just unable to touch ground on to the stage, but this time does find it, throws it out, gets the down smash, and that's even going to kill coast to coast. Yeah, right. You know, Big Boss saying like, ha ha ha, when I have the thing, I can do let trapping situations too. It is an interesting kill option there being pulled out by Big Boss, but speaking of kill options, Dom immediately finds one of his own, immediately keeps this in lapped, almost getting the lapped percents rather, and looking to do it very, very shortly. And here we go, using the cross as a way to you know, interrupt any aerial aggression that Big Boss wants to set up. Tries to land, gets caught by the up tilt. Big Boss unable to follow up on it because Dom just keeps throwing out hitboxes and Dom doesn't really know what to do. Oh no, air dodges into it. He still has his double jump, but there's the bear to clean out the stock. Very, very quickly equalized a great setup by, T uh, by Big Boss, rather. Sorry, I'm so used to saying great setup by T3 Dom. Right. Oh, gets the four tilt. And uh, here's the ledge trapping situation. Oh my god, he read the normal getup, but unfortunately, the fire was just still barely out. Oh, Dom has gyro in hand, going to use it to supplement his ledge trapping there. Right. That's a scary, scary prospect, right? Like giving Dom another tool to ledge trap with. Right. And here Catching we go. Bear. Yeah, and all this damage is racking up. This and might he... be curtains for Big Boss if he's not careful. 
going for the axe, and that is going to be it. Yeah. Dom catches the Holy Fire. No, great DI from MK Big Boss, uh, but it's not going to matter. Yeah. Tries to find the space with the bear, pops himself up just a little bit too much. Unable to survive, caught by the bear. Down he goes, 2-0. Great, great play from Dom to defend SoCal from invaders. Right. And I love how, like, he spaces down B perfectly. Because most Rickers, they're on the ground, they'll just throw it out. But when you do that, you actually have a little bit more end lag than if you were to be in the air while you do it, right? The landing, yeah. I like landing on the ground almost cuts the ending lag a little bit so you're able to you know set up more traps with him and we see big boss you know he's trying to get back to ledge trying to you know get something out of it but unfortunately he just couldn't find the answer quick enough got so much damage racked up off of him and then eventually an axe kill right and if it wasn't going to be an axe it was going to be a uh, fair or it was going to be bear or it was going to be an s smash it was going to be something right it's just it's so hard for literally any character, let alone a big body like Rob, to bob and weave their way through the bullet hell that T3 Dom creates. It looks like up next we've got a really interesting one. We see the return of Razo. Right. Facing off against them is another top tier hero. It's going to be Chag, right. another Mexican representative here trying to invade MSM, trying to get the dub over the hometown heroes. And we'll see what the Palutena can do versus the Peach. I mean, I know we're seeing some of Mexico's finest here, but it. I want to see anything. I, I'm always going to be a SoCal fan, so I want to see the Homeland Defenders defend against the the, the Mexican you know, force. You know, it's going to be, we love to see them out here. They don't get to come out here a whole lot, so we love to see everybody, you know, make the trip out here, especially when you're in a, such a good position like Summit, right? But it is going to be very, very difficult, of course. Mexico, one of the strongest regions in the entire right. world for Smash, let alone just in like this this small area like SoCal. And right. you said it, some of Mexico's finest, Chag, MK Leo, Big Boss, all coming in here, all trying to take it away. It's gonna be a tough, tough time for the defenders. So going to be getting into this. It, is is Razo playing Steve? No. No, Razo doesn't play any other character than Peach. But yeah. He was hovering the Steve for a second. That had me a little bit worried. Oh my god. I, I would be shocked the day Razo ever drops Peach for any other character. That 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 is the day when Peach is officially dead. Like the only character that Razo would ever drop Peach for would be Daisy. <laughs> and even then that's like asking for a lot. Yeah, it is going to be uh going to be the Palu versus the Peach. I don't think